ยีบับปาสับยี S T Lewis Post Dispatch Foundation Launch to Support S T Lewis County Park System ยีหลงยัดหนึ่งหนึ่งชัดยุดสับยัดยัด Steve G J Rich Source S T Lewis Post Dispatch July สับยัด S T Lewis County The late Howard Darlandorf set eyes on his love of open spaces to ensure that S T Lewis County set aside parkland as development spread outward from the inner ring suburbs in the decades just after the Second World War. A man of deeds as well as words, Arlandorf's commitment included the donation of two West County parcels that became part of the park system: Arlandorf Park and Arlandorf Park West. Next week, the legacy will begin a new phase with the launch of a non-profit to promote and financially benefit county park system programs, facilities, and improvement projects. Retired businessman Mark Arlandorf, Howard's son, is president of the nine-member board overseeing the S T Lewis County Parks Foundation. They have to cut the grass, plow the snow, paint the buildings, and so much else," said Arlandorf. Tess up off Sunset Hills. Sure, they get tax money, but they just don't have the money to do anything new. Covering more than yet man ye tin tap back acres, the Tess up yet parks spread across the county system were subjected to budget cuts and threats of closures after the ye tin lingal recession. The county has since restored most of the funding. Budget shortfalls nonetheless led to an agreement two years ago to generate additional income by permitting a private company to operate a zip line in Upper Creek Co Park, which drew fire from naturalists. This foundation will help provide the funds that can make our dreams a reality. County Parks Director Gary Bess said in a statement. County Executive Steve Stenger praised Arlandorf and his wife Sue. In a written statement for the generous and much appreciated philanthropy advances our efforts to ensure the preservation of our beautiful parks, Arlandorf said in an interview Friday that he saw the foundation acting as a conduit between the public and county officials. In addition to raising money on behalf of the parks, the foundation website will actively seek suggestions on new programs and facility upgrades. Intergenerational playground equipment that will allow parents and children to simultaneously swing on the same swing set. Additional fitness centers and handicapped accessible stretching centers are among the projects under consideration. The foundation will formally announce itself next Wednesday with the presentation of a new fountain in the Tills Park Lake, Gautin Ngba Ngsap Yatlit Singer Road. The event. To be held at the wind of the shelter, gets underway at sub m. Plans are also underway to install a fountain in Spanish Lake Park. Arlandorf said the foundation grew out of discussions after the county chose a section of Arlandorf Park West to build an emergency communications center. The facility became operational last year. Foundations supporting public parkland are not unusual here and nationwide. Forest Park Forever is the most notable local non-profit dedicated to preserving and improving open spaces. University City and S T Charles City also have foundations devoted to parkland. There's never been a foundation to look after the S T Lewis County Parks, said Arlandorf. Everyone I talked to was shocked to hear it. They all assumed there was one. Stenger predicted that partnerships like this one will be the key to the success of our parks in the future. The Arlandorfs provided the initial funding for the foundation. Arlandorf, the retired head of a family orthodontics business now headed by his son, declined to divulge the amount of the donation. Steve G. Jarrett, Sam Yase, Tat Yi Ng, Lok Tat Ng Ba Now Steve G. Jarrett on Twitter S. G. Jarrett Outpost Dispatch Com Copyright. C. Y. T. Ling. Yes. Up. The. S. T. Lewis Post Dispatch. Visit the. S. T. Lewis Post Dispatch at W. 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 Stolta. Day. Come. Distributed by Tribune Content Agency. L. L. C.